Akai's MPK Mini Play Mark III is finally here. It's got built-in key sounds, built-in drum sounds, and is a fully functional MIDI keyboard. And I can tell you right away, I think this is gonna be the perfect keyboard for a lot of people. In today's video, we're gonna break down the new features and the redesign of the MPK Mini Play. I will, of course, leave a link in the description below to the new MPK Mini Play. That is an affiliate link, so if you make a purchase using that link, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps to support this YouTube channel. So thanks in advance. Let's get into today's video. So everything you just heard was created using the built-in sounds on the MPK Mini Play. You get 128 different keys and sound presets, and the MPK Mini Play also comes preloaded with 10 different drum kits. And as you heard in the demo, these presets sound really good. I was so pleasantly surprised at how usable these keys, synth, and drum sounds are, considering this is an entry-level keyboard. And one of the features that I really like is you can have one of your keys presets loaded on your keyboard, and then of course a drum kit loaded on your drum pads and use both of them simultaneously. The eight drum pads have been upgraded to MPC style drum pads. They have a nice feel and velocity response to them. Right above your drum pads, you have these four knobs, and these knobs will allow you to affect and tweak the different presets that they've provided. You have your octave controls, arpeggiator, note repeat function. If you're familiar with any of the MPK minis, you'll be familiar with this four-way joystick. The same OLED display that we got in the MPK Mini Mark III shows up in the MPK Mini Play Mark III. Akai have also upgraded the built-in speaker, which has increased output, and they've added in a little more low-end response for just a more enjoyable playing experience when you're using those built-in sounds. And of course, probably the most significant upgrade, the keybed in the MPK Mini Play has been upgraded to that Gen 2 dynamic keybed. This is the same keybed that we saw in the upgraded MPK Mini Mark III. I really dig this keybed. It's got a nice feel, nice feel velocity sensitivity, so nice to see that show up in the MPK Mini Play. Another really interesting feature is you can power this keyboard one of two ways. This keyboard can be USB bus powered or it can be battery powered, which is really cool. It makes this a completely portable device. All you need is four AA batteries and this thing is good to go. And I think this is one of the features that really sets apart the MPK Mini Play. On the back of the keyboard, you also have a sustain pedal jack and a headphone eighth inch jack. You can also use this headphone jack to output to your audio interface, record using the built-in sound should you wanna do that. Akai is also bundling this complete music production starter kit, a bunch of different software you can use right away to start making music. This is not only a great mini 25 key MIDI keyboard with features for producers of all levels, but it's also a great tool for beginners who are learning keys, learning piano. Now, of course, the built-in sounds, the speaker, the battery-powered portability make the MPK Mini play just a little bit more expensive. 
than the standard MPK Mini Mark III. So if you're trying to figure out which one of these MPK Minis is the right choice for you, definitely check out my comparison video right here. But that's gonna wrap up this video, my friends. Until next time, my name's Patrick. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.